in two recent surveys, uh, they were both conducted by LinkedIn and also Business Insider. They asked the question, how many people are living their dream, doing their dream job? And the result of that survey came back and said that 70% of people are not doing what they're doing. A matter of fact, a number of those people hated what they were doing. And so this brings me to the thought, you don't need to respond, how many of us are doing the things that we should not be doing? How many of us are passionate at what we do and we're not doing it? Because there may be roadblocks that get in our way or we just can't seem to get there. See, a lot of people depend on a lucky rabbit's foot. Or we walk into that casino and we want to press that slot and we hope that life gives us that jackpot. And we wish it was so simple and easy like that. There are simple questions that can empower and transform your life. Each one of you have the ability to do the things that you really want to do in life and be empowered and you can transform and live that fulfilled life. See, the very first question is very simple. It says, what is it that you want to do in your life? What is it that you want? Don't create a bucket list because a bucket list sounds too negative. It's like, I'm going to kick the bucket so I need to get these things done before I die. And death is never a nice conversation. But create a life list. Do the things that you want to do while you live. Have you thought, what is it that you want to do? It doesn't have to be a dream job only. It could be spending more time with your family. It could be a trip that you want to plan. Or it could be health and fitness that we never seem to be consistent with. Right? What I want to do, there is one, because I'm doing my dream job now. I tell people I really don't work. I socialize pretty much all day. But the one thing I want to do is I want to go back to Italy for the third and final time in my life. I was born in Canada. I've been to Italy twice, but I, I have a dual citizenship because my mother never became an, a Canadian citizen. See, my father died last September 16, 2015. And it leads to my next question, why do I want to go to Italy? Why do we want what we want in life? Because the why question examines our values. It examines the reasons, our motivations, and what we want to do. See, my father was the patriarch of the family. I was the eighth child. I was the bambino of the family. I was the last. So I was my family's favorite. <laughs> and so my father came to Canada in 1952 because he wanted to give us a better life. And when he left Italy, he had three of my sisters and my mother, and they didn't come to Canada until 1957. So the reason why I want to go back to Italy is I want to go and honor and celebrate and pay tribute to his life. I want to visit the homeland and get a great feeling because he left a great legacy. And so why is it that you want what you want or the things that you want? Have you asked yourself that? And then it leads to the third question. How am I going to get there? See, today it's so easy. If I wanted to go to West Vancouver to 7th Street and I make up a number, 1, 2, 3, 4, I get a GPS and I plug it in and the GPS takes me or you go, Siri, take me to West Vancouver. And then Siri says, okay, where do you want to go in West Vancouver, right? And then you start having this conversation with Siri as long as you don't get mad at Siri, right? <laughs> When Siri tells you to turn left, you turn left, right? And then you start arguing. Well, I heard that, right? But it takes us to the place we want to go to. 
So we need to have a road map of the things that we want to do on our life list. We have to have a road map of where we want to go and how. See, when I go to Italy, sure, I'm, of course, I'm going to fly. I'm not going to walk. I'm not going to take boat. I'm not going to take train. So I have to make prepar preparations to fly to Italy. I need to inform my family because I know there's going to be a number of family members that want to go. My sister I usually travel with. And then I need to map out the places that I want to go. And then I need to let my cousins know in Italy that I'm coming. And see, then I have to let my work know because I'm not going to go for two weeks. I want to go for a month. So I need to prepare them. And then, I don't like debt, I don't live with debt, so I want to be prepared so I don't have to worry when I'm in Italy about what I'm spending and what the euro currency is compared to the Canadian currency, so I want to be prepared. And see, once we know how, it moves us to the next question, what is your time limit? See, procrastination is our arch enemy, right? health and fitness, we get home, we put the TV on, or we sit on our iPad, we need to get to the gym, to the pool, and it's like, oh, this feels better than getting to the gym. Because that's actually work, right? See, time is important because we don't have a, an eternity here on earth. See, I'm a market manager for several funeral homes for Dignity Memorial Funeral Homes. So the two in this area would be Henderson's and Woodlawn. I have met many families who have lost their loved ones, and I've walked through many, many cemeteries. And when I read a headstone, what fascinates me is the date of birth and the date of death. But the most significant part of that headstone is that dash between those years. Because what's important is not the day that we were born or the day that we die. It's what we do in between those days that matters most. So my plan is to go back to Italy June 2018 because that gives me enough time to prepare. Gives me enough time to plan. And see, if we don't time things, we just don't get around and do it. And that is usually the obstacle that we face. It's like, I know what I want to do. I know where I want to go. But I just can't get there. Because procrastination seems to be the nemesis and it draws all these things called fear, called lack of motivation. And yet, everyone here has the ability to do what they want and to live life the way they want to and to enjoy life. But we have to do something with that thing called time. And that's why I tell people, don't have a bucket list. You don't know when you're, you're going to die. Have a life list because you're living. It sounds better. You're motivated. You're enthused. So you empower yourself. And then it leads to the last, last question. See, the first question is, what is, what is it that I want? What are the things on my life list? Why is it important to me? How am I going to get there? What is my time limit? And then... What does it look like if I was actually living my dream? What does it look like if I've achieved it? Think about it. Covey says, live with the end in mind. I say, live your dream and walk in it. And so I fast forward to 2018. All my family is in Ontario. I'm the only one here because then I don't have my sisters and my brothers watching me what to do and giving me a lecture. 
because I'm the youngest. And so it's 2018. I meet my family at Pearson Art Port in Toronto. We greet, we board Air Italia. We land in Rome. And we go through security. This time I'm not going to fight with the person in security. <laughs> and then I pick up my rent-a-car. My family is very nervous because I don't drive standard. And all the cars in Europe are standard. And the last time I drove was three years ago when I was in Portugal. And my friend who was with me was very concerned. Because <laughs> there's a lot of roundabouts. But in Italy, I meet my cousin after I pick up my, my rent-a-car at the airport. And I get in my rent-a-car and I'm driving south of Rome to a place called Arpino. And of course, I have to watch because Italians are crazy when they drive on the autostrada. And as I drive, I'm enriched because I feel the presence of my father. I feel the heritage of my family. And as I drive into Arpino, I land to the place where he was born, the villa that is still there. The next few days, I'm going to meditate. And I look at the vast land that he farmed with his family. I look over the olive groves. And I'm just in awe of this one person who knew and was passionate in what they wanted to do in 1952, just to give his family a better life. So I'm going to honor his life with my family by celebrating with rich food. Of course, great drink. Beautiful wine. And see, when we walk in our dream and we live our dream today, we make it a reality when does your dream start? It starts now. Thank you.